Hi everyone, this is Caesar with Smart Blogging, and on this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use Market Samurai to find some profitable keywords to use on your blog post or um, maybe to build a website. Literally for anything, I mean, even for your videos, it's good to know what are the keywords that people are looking for. All right, so we're going to start out by uh, once you launch Market Samurai on your computer, it's going you're going to get to this page where it um, it'll ask you to create a new project. So you click on New Project. Um, click continue on that and then uh, you know depending on what your topic is um, for this example I'm just gonna choose a I don't know a random topic um, let's say um, uh, let's see uh, how to make money with email marketing okay just whatever topic I mean it could be a, it could be a, a phrase or you know even a long tail phrase like this one I just typed up in there and then you just um, you hit create on that and then um, you click on keyword research and you um, you want to choose at least two words uh, on the phrases and hit generate keywords and, and market samurai is gonna give you a list of keywords that are related to that keyword or phrase that you typed in there and um, okay so it's still loading Market Samurai runs a little slow, so you have to be a little patient. Sometimes it, depending on your connection, it'll it'll either either move quickly or um, it'll sometimes even take a couple of minutes before it generates a list. Okay, now so Market Samurai has generated a list of about 662 keywords. Um, okay, they're all related to email marketing and building a list and that kind of thing. So. So we're going to see what Market Samurai figures, uh, you know, what, what it tells us. Uh, some of these keywords might be well worth targeting. Some of them might not be worth uh, targeting. So it's, uh, that's why this tool is very effective because um, it, it filters out all the keywords that are profitable from the ones that aren't. So now we're going to click on Keyword Analysis. And now we're in the Keyword Analysis window. And uh, what we want to do here is select, um, let's see, we're going to choose here where it says 50, keep that at 50, keep that at 15. SEO competition is really important. This means that there are, uh, the, way, the default setting on Market Samurai, uh, it's 100,000. Now, this means that there's going to be, that when, when it does the search, um, it's going to build a list of sites that have at least 100,000 um competing sites out in, in Google. In other words, you don't want to target a keyword that has too many sites competing for that key phrase. So what you want to do um, is lower this amount to maybe about 40,000. This way you have a greater chance of ranking in the first page of Google. Uh, anything above this, will it, it's going to be, it's going to take a lot more work. So you want to, uh, you know, narrow down the keywords that you'll have more more potential in ranking for. That's why I, I usually go with 40,000 instead of 100,000 or anything above that. Now if, if you really want to target a certain keyword then you can do that and it's just going to take you a lot longer and a lot more work. So that's why I recommend just sticking to anything below 40,000. Okay so then once you do that you hit analyze keywords Market Samurai now is going to analyze this list and um, filter through all the keywords that that meet the criteria that we just um, uh, inserted. Now the now right over here where it says SEO traffic, uh, SEO traffic is basically um, this is on a daily basis. So however, it's gonna 50 basically that just means that there are 50 searches being made through taking in consideration that you are on the first uh, spot in Google, okay? On the first page, on the first position in Google. So uh, if you were to have that top position in Google, um, you would receive about 50 visitors a day, okay? That's, that's the minimum that we want the, the tool um, to give us. Okay, so Market Samurai has filtered through a list of 600 keywords and left me with only three. <laughs> All right, so this here gives me a good idea of where this keyword is in terms of traffic and um, 
and and competing websites for this term. Okay, so what I can what I see here is that email marketing reviews. Okay, uh, there's 75 people. You would have a traffic of 75 uh, visitors per day if you were to have the first position in Google. And uh, this particular term um, has 26,800 um, competing sites for it. So there, it's definitely something that you can rank for. But there's, we, we're still not done. That just tells us that there's potential there. Uh, same with the next one, Toronto Internet Marketing. Okay, so Toronto, I'm assuming that probably it's probably referring to um, to Canada. So I probably, unless you're in Toronto, this might be something good to target. If not, then I would probably skip it. Or you can always uh, try to target it just to get that traffic. Um, if you want to, uh, you know, sort of target that area and and bring leads from from there but um, what you do now is uh, once you know pretty once you have this list then uh, all you do is click on this little uh, key right in here and then that's that's gonna bring up another tab up here and what we want to do now is uh, look at the SEO competition okay we want to figure out what who are the people on the first page of Google which, which what are the websites that are there now and what other stats? So, and this will determine whether or not we should even consider this a keyword to target. Okay, so we'll, we're going to click on that, make sure they're all checked, and then hit generate results. Now, uh, Market Samurai right now is analyzing the the results on the first page of Google under the keyword email marketing reviews, and it's going to let us know you know give us an idea of, of where what what are the statistics of these sites that are on there now um, make this a little long bigger here okay so now that we we have a list okay anything in green pretty it's it's good news anything in red is bad news um, so let's say like like for example on the very first one this is the this is the number spot number one spot in Google. Okay, this is where you want to be, and the number one spot in Google has this means that domain age. That's how many years. That's how old the domain is. It's four years old. These are this is the page rank. It, this website's got a page rank of four, which is it's high. It's it's not you know it's 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 going to take some work to get them to come down, right? Um, now now this is important too. The backlinks, okay. You want to have, you know, they only have 603 backlinks, so there, there's a chance that we can even um, do some market, article marketing and, uh, and enough uh, article submissions and uh, blog submissions um, to to get this number to go higher than 603, and we'll be able to get that spot. But there's other things that you have to consider also. You know, is the page rank? We have to get our page rank to go up a little bit too. So and there's it's definitely some work. It's not impossible, but there's definitely some work to do um, to to get on the first page of Google with that term. Now, when you when you look over here, it says the title. This means that they've got the 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 uh, keyword email marketing reviews in the title. They have it in the URL. They have it in the description, and they have it in the H1 tag. Okay, the head tags. Of the site h1 h2 and h3 tags okay this is important so that your site can achieve ranking and they've already they've done a good job in doing that so that's why they're in the number one spot now the number two spot as you can see also has a page rank of four they've been around for four years and they've got uh, you know some some work here that they've done with backlinking and uh, but one thing they don't have are the basic uh, meta tag okay they don't have a title tag URL the the keyword in the URL uh, it's not on it's not in there and uh, so they're ranking on the number two spot based on maybe the page rank the age of their domain name and maybe some backlinking that they've done but they're not doing the, the basic meta tag information they they have an h1 tag uh, on, on their site which is probably why they're ranking but I think the weight of their site is basically here in the red area. 
So if you can beat this red zone, uh, you know, using uh, the best spinner and and uh, unique article wizard to submit your article to hundreds and hundreds of um, websites out there, and that'll create some backlinks to yours, and hopefully that will beat this uh, these numbers that they've that they've got here. Uh, number three spot, it's a it's an old domain, six year domain. They have a page rank of five. Um, you know they've they've done all this work, uh, but their strengths are here. And the uh, this is the referring domains. These are websites coming from. Well, it, it basically tells you right here the total number of unique domains with backlinks pointing to a specific page. So if you're able to get that, then you're able to beat whatever it is that they're doing. And referring domain names is the number of total unique domains with backlinks pointing to a specific donate domain. So if you're able to have a website out there that points directly to your domain name, then that's gonna that's gonna outrank these people. So it's not it's not very hard to get on the first page of Google uh, under this term, uh, especially down here. I'm, I'm, these are really easy to get to um, because there's they don't have a lot of backlinks and and some some of the the the, the backlink that they've established are very low, so you'll be able to rank for these. You'll definitely get on the first page of Google. You may not be able to get on the first position in Google right away, but at least you'll be on the first uh, spot of, uh, I mean, on the first page of Google if you just do some very basic stuff, which is uh, backlinking and some uh, basic uh, meta tag um, SEO stuff within the, within the page or within the site. And that's it. That's what. That's how you use Market Samurai to help you figure out what's a profitable keyword. Um, if you come back over here to uh, email marketing reviews, this is the original page that we were on. And if you look over to the right, SEO value. This is the SEO value of this keyword. So basically, what that is is the is the total daily value of traffic that a website is ranked in the number one spot in Google for a keyword. That could potentially achieve, uh, you know, ranking. So, basically, this if if your value is the higher the value, the more valuable that keyword is. So that's something to consider when you're uh, trying to figure out what keywords to target, especially if you want if you want it to be a profitable keyword. You want to make sure that people are actually purchasing through that keyword, and, and it's not just a um, just a keyword where people are just trying to get some information. And as we can see here on this keyword, it's got a $934 value. So people are bidding on this in the Google AdWords program, ad campaign program. So people are bidding on this keyword as, as a way to generate income. All right, that's it for now. Hope you hope this video helps you out in, in uh, helping you find some profitable keywords with Market Samurai. All right, take care. Have a nice day.